As I complete the Educational Technology Certificate Program at Michigan State, I have reflected on my experience and created this professional growth plan to ensure that I continue to grow and learn in the field of educational technology. When I began the Educational Technology Certificate Program, I knew a lot about technology, the various tools, applications, and programs that existed, resources for learning about those programs, how students and educators could use those tools, and even the common advantages and disadvantages technically speaking, of using those tools. As I worked through the certificate program, I learned a lot more about technology integration. I learned about TPAC, backwards planning, universal design, and effective professional development. Now I have some guiding questions as I plan with and train teachers to develop effective technology integrated lessons, such as what is the goal of the lesson or unit? How will technology make this better? How will or can technology increase student learning? And how can technology be used to meet the needs of all learners? The rest of this slideshow will walk you through my two main goals for professional growth. My first goal is to continue to learn about and practice new and research curriculum planning strategies. In addition to familiarizing myself with our district curriculum law, which touches on the content aspect of TPAC, I mainly want to focus on the pedagogical aspects of technology integration. I recently read a blog post by an EdTech leader about her implementation of Understanding by Design, which piqued my interest about the real power of technology integration. I also know that many teachers in my building want to try problem or project-based learning, but don't know where to start. In CEPA 12, we use backwards design to use technology to solve a problem of educational practice. I want to focus my energy on learning the ins and outs of some of these methods for planning curriculum so that I can help teachers design fully integrated while still effective and logical units. To meet my first goal, I will first do some learning on my own by reading Understanding by Design, Guide to Creating High Quality Units by Grant Wiggins, and The Differentiated Classroom by Carolyn Tomlinson, which my district gave to me. I also need to spend time exploring my district curriculum maps and familiarizing myself with the skills and the timeline. In addition, I find some of my most useful moving information from my RSS reader, whether they are professional articles or blog postings from fellow educators. Finally, I will find professional development opportunities in and out of my district, which might be focused on these. My district offers many classes after school for credit. I recently took a differentiation class that I found extremely useful for my position. I will also seek outside opportunities, such as the Illinois Computing Educators Conference and Educon. I know that a colleague of mine attended a summer workshop about PBL that I want to find out more about and possibly attend as well. My second goal is broad, but I will explain it in more detail. Now that I have an understanding of the needs and culture in my school, I want to be a more effective leader for technology integration in my building. Ultimately, I want to change the mindset in my school and move from technology products to technology processes. I want to scratch the project mentality and eliminate the number of menu option style culminating technology projects. I want to encourage more seamless everyday integration that is collaborative and global. Changing the mindset in my building will take time, but it is something I am determined to begin working on in the next school year. First, I think our professional development model needs to change. Often courses are titled, Getting to Know Google SketchUp, which implies an emphasis on technology rather than what can be done with Google SketchUp. Throughout every workshop or class I teach for educators, I will incorporate elements of curriculum planning and design, stressing the need for curriculum goals. The PD lesson from session two was one of my favorites, and I took a lot from it. Some of the important tips I took from the lesson are make the learning relevant and timely to the teachers, give teachers hands-on activities, and design experiences that incorporate content and pedagogical knowledge. Second, through regular and formal communication between myself and the staff, I can help to motivate teachers. We often email a monthly tech tips email. I want to revise this or add to it in a way that I could send out actual project samples, products, reflective blog postings from other teachers, and more that might inspire teachers to model what others have tried. Finally, I want to revise the planning meeting model. I want to meet more regularly with teams of teachers to learn about their upcoming units and goals. This is something my principal and I recently met about and she is fully supporting me on. Changing the tone of the meeting will depend primarily on me guiding the conversation, but I imagine a planning form or questionnaire that teachers fill out ahead of time would be helpful in determining goals. I also think that a template for technology integration lessons would be ideal in making sure integration is seamless and not for the sake of using technology. In order to meet both of my goals, I will utilize all of my resources, especially in terms of other professionals I can work with. To meet my first goal, the curriculum and instruction department will be important as I become an expert on the 5th and 6th grade curriculum. 
For example, our science curriculum is changing next year, and I have already been in contact with the department so that I can educate myself on the changes in expectations. To meet my second goal, I want to develop a stronger relationship with the two differentiated support teachers in my building. Their roles are quite similar to mine, and I imagine we can build a great working relationship in which we develop fully differentiated technology-rich lessons. They are also very knowledgeable about curriculum planning strategies and could be helpful for my first goal as well. In addition, the LMC Tech Department in my district meets regularly to share ideas, concerns, problems, and more. We contact each other to discuss ideas and work out problems. Finally, I will rely on my digital PLN to help me grow. I'm a big believer in using Twitter and Name to communicate and collaborate with other educators with similar interests. Building relationships is important as I feel it helps me to meet my own personal goals as well. I want to continue to be someone who is reflective and resourceful. I know that I am not the keeper of all knowledge, and if I try to be, I will exhaust myself. Just as we encourage our students to be collaborative and global, I know that building relationships in and out of school can help me not only professionally, but also personally. These kinds of relationships at school lead to a more satisfying work environment. After all, it is important to also have a healthy work-life balance so I can make it back to East Lansing and see some Spartan victories.